Taylor Swift is immune from scandal. Nobody's immune from scandal. Kim Kardashian released video of Kanye West secretly recording his conversation. Wait a second, you sound sad. Well, is it gonna be mean? No, I don't think it's mean. Hashtag Taylor Swift is over party was the number one trend on Twitter worldwide. People decided I was wicked and evil and conniving. A lot of people assumed that it was Kim and Kanye that were telling the truth. He felt humiliated. Oh, come on. She started it and it's time for her to finish it. She has turned that wounded princess thing and made that her story. Girls say things about you behind your back yeah, and then backstab yeah. you. And if you do something, trust me, there's gonna be a reaction. I am not the kind of person who can scream at another person. I'm just like... It just gets loud sometimes. Nobody physically saw me for a year. Was all the bad blood just a little too much for her? I felt like a wounded animal lashing out. Taylor Swift just dropped her comeback single and her lyrical dagger seemed to be pointed at one rapper in particular. Thank you so much for giving me a chance to win a VMA award. I Yo, Taylor. And I was really excited because Kanye West was on the stage. I'm gonna let you finish, but Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. And then I wasn't so excited anymore. The world was watching when Kanye West shattered 19-year-old Taylor Swift's confidence. At the time, I didn't know they were booing him doing that. I thought that they were booing me. It was all fueled by not feeling like I belonged there. In an instant, Taylor was right back to feeling like that bullied little kid. This is a song I wrote yesterday. It's about a girl who's just different. I got teased a lot and I got made fun of a lot. Went through periods of time where I didn't have friends. She would sit down at a table with her lunch tray and everyone would move. But now she was a rising star with her friend Katy Perry and her new boyfriend John Mayer on her side. Katy's a friend of mine. Yo, Kanye, I'm really happy you're getting this nomination and all. I'ma let you finish but I have one of the best interruptions of all time. Taylor Swift is an anomaly, and they only make a few Taylor Swifts every decade. I think she's that genuine. I hope she remains that way, too. I'll make sure she does it. But when John broke her heart, she couldn't let it go and lashed out the only way she knew how. Some of my songs are like as if I was yelling at you, but I don't yell at you. I am not the kind of person who can scream at another person and let out their feelings in that way. She writes a song about every ex-boyfriend she ever had. John Mayer claims your hit song, Dear John, was about him and he felt humiliated. Oh, come on. Some say Mayer may be getting a dose of his own medicine. You don't consider yourself a womanizer? No, no absolutely not. Still reeling from her heartbreak with John, she was devastated when Katie turned on her too. She is straight up enemies with another female artist. Girls like say things about you behind your back yeah, and then backstab yeah. you. And How is John. John, he's good. Yeah, yeah, he's really good. No, I really adore him. And I tried to talk to her about it and she wouldn't speak to oh, me. You... It was a full shutdown and then she writes a song about me and I'm like, okay, cool. That's how you want to do with it. Taylor also goes on to reveal that Bad Blood is not about a romance. It is definitely about the loss of a friendship. You do something, trust me, there's going to be a reaction. And when Kanye went after Taylor again, things went from bad to worse. The most controversial image in the video is the likeness of Taylor Swift at Kanye's side. Taylor Swift is livid and horrified. She is bewildered, feels betrayed, and is beyond frustrated with Kanye. But Taylor had burned every bridge, and the world sided with Kanye. Kim Kardashian released video of Kanye West secretly recording his conversation. It has a very controversial line at the beginning of the song about you. What does it say? Wait a second, you sound sad. No, I don't think it's me. Kanye had said all along that he got permission. To I don't him. buy the story that she was so insulted. I think she saw an opportunity to be yeah. victimized oh. here, and she thought everybody was going to get on her side. Taylor revealed, I just so badly wanted that respect from him, and I hate that about myself. There was a lot that happened over a couple of years that made me feel really, really terrible. And what should have been Taylor's highest moment became her lowest. I had one album of the year at the Grammys for a second time. And I remembered thinking afterward, oh my God, that was all you wanted. You get to the mountaintop and you look around and you're like, oh God, what now? I didn't have a partner that I climbed it with. I didn't have anyone I could talk to. Shouldn't I have someone that I could call right now? Then her worst nightmare came true. Hashtag Taylor Swift is over party was the number one trend on Twitter worldwide. Do you know how many people have to be tweeting that they hate you for that to happen? And people decided I was wicked and evil and conniving and not a good person. That was the one that I couldn't really bounce back from. 
because my whole life was centered around it. I felt really alone, I felt really bitter. I felt like a wounded animal lashing out. At rock bottom, Taylor had to face the vengeful person she'd become. I figured I had to reset everything. I had to deconstruct an entire belief system for my own personal sanity. It just feels like it's more than music now at this point. It just gets loud. To really let go of the victim mentality that isolated her, Taylor decided to disappear from the spotlight. Nobody physically saw me for a year. People say about celebrities that they're frozen at the age they got famous, and that's kind of what happened to me. I had a lot of growing up to do, just trying to catch up to 29. And the first thing she did was make amends with Katie. I sent a literal olive branch to her tour. We have so much in common, and I was like, we should really be friends. He and I really wanted to be a symbol of redemption and of forgiveness and the fact that you can grow up from that point on. Something felt so much lighter about my life when things became really good between us. And by the time the truth finally came out about Kanye, Taylor was thriving in her new life. Extended video footage of the infamous phone call between Kanye West and Taylor Swift has gone viral on Twitter. So it's clear from the clip that the very controversial line wasn't mentioned or shared with Taylor. And hashtag Kanye West is over party as well as hashtag Taylor Swift was telling the truth were both trending on Twitter. If something's toxic and it's only ever really been that, what are you gonna do? Just move on. It's fine. I also was falling in love with someone who had a really wonderfully normal, balanced, grounded life. When Taylor stopped seeing herself as the victim, she was able to focus on what really mattered. When we're going through a phase of our life that isn't serving us, isn't making us feel good, you have to recalibrate. Do you believe in forgiveness? Yes, absolutely. For people that are important in your life, who have enriched your life and made it better. After 13 years of constantly feeling like I was misunderstood, knowing that everything that happened was all gonna turn into this moment is awesome.